it's Mikaya with House of Meese and today I'm going to be doing my 20 week update. Actually technically right now I am 20 weeks and one two days because today is Tuesday and I change weeks on Sunday. So 20 weeks and two days. Today's going to be a rather long update so if you like longer videos this is for you. Also stay tuned for the end. I will have a very quick simple baby buys haul at the very end. So, let's get started. First thing, as always, I like to start with the stats. Um, I have gained 7 pounds total, so that means I have gained 4 pounds since my last monthly um, visit, which is still really good, so I'm 141, still liking it. I'm, I'm good with that, whatever. I'm pretty sure that will change quickly now that we are moving into the point where baby is going to be gaining a lot more weight. Um, didn't really get to hear the baby's heart re her heart beat rate whatever <laughs> that much i'm just gonna have to film this video and like hope it ends for the best because i can't keep re-filming this i'm just like fumbling over my words i don't know anyways didn't get to hear the baby's heartbeat that much and that long because we had our 20 week ultrasound we didn't get to hear the baby on the doppler from my doctor i was literally in there with my doctor like two seconds and i loved it it's the perfect transition when going back to a hospital from a birthing center um because my doctor is like in and out quick and easy like I'm not gonna if there's not a problem I'm not gonna like ask for one so I love that that was amazing if you did not see our gender reveal go watch that right now I will not spoil it for you but go watch it because I'm about to just blurt out some stuff I'm gonna have a drink I would totally kill for some wine right now <sighs> it's been like five months or something since I've had wine so if you saw that we are having a girl we are super excited i'm going to talk more about that in the end but as pertaining to that it's a girl we confirmed it was a girl we found out at 15 weeks i believe almost 16 weeks and it still is a girl which is awesome oh i also need to mention that now you guys start guessing the name of babe girl um i think that we mentioned in our q a that we are not going to be announcing the name comment down below and you guys can start guessing the name um i'm not really going to respond to every single one that isn't but if someone guesses just her first name no like middle name anything like that if someone guesses her first name i will let you guys know she looked amazing all that stuff i won't really show you guys pictures just because there really wasn't nothing we saw like an arm and a leg and it was super cute but really besides little cute little button nose or profile picture that was um in our gender reveal that was like the cutest one you know what i mean the rest are like random like meh, meh, and you know you know it's not really picture worthy to show you guys so there was that we did actually get to see her empty her bladder it was the strangest thing i've never seen that before but while she was taking all of her measurements and stuff i like actually saw her empty her bladder and the fluids go out it was oddly cute i don't know do you call someone empty in their bladder cute i guess it's when a cute little baby it's like super cute so we'll go into any symptoms and things like that um as far as morning sickness I don't want to say it but I think it's gone I think it is I have been doing amazingly I think over the past four or five days I've not taken any medicine Zofrin, Diclegis, anything I haven't had to take it except for one time on Monday because I like was really running late on Monday for getting Jalen ready and I was going crazy so therefore I had to take one because I was just like not eating but besides that I do pretty good um so that is gone thankfully I'm super thankful for that the thing that has come with that is being exhausted and I think it's just exhaustion from like just being lazy essentially from you know I would say I got to get around six weeks until now I've been really feeling bad and um I haven't been doing very much like doing my normal mom duty so now that I'm feeling better I'm trying to like just jump back into that and my body's like uh no girl get it together my battery went dead what was I even talking about sickness gone tired okay <laughs> so i have been tired but i'm just working on making that better um other things that have been happening are my gums are getting really red and they're bleeding 
it's happened to me every single pregnancy well it's my third um but every single pregnancy my gums start getting really really red and they bleed like crazy which really isn't that big of a deal in retrospect it's super easy to deal with um i mostly just go use listerine and it kind of like seizes it up except for the fact that i have invisalign in and i've had it in since may so nine times out of ten i don't realize it because i used to be able to like taste the blood this is kind of sorry i used to be able to taste it and i would go and rinse my mouth out or just drink something or something like that but i can't taste it because i have clear trays in so there's a slight tinge sometimes on my trays and i don't realize it because i they're on my teeth so that's a little bit weird but nothing too big but i have been dealing with that um as well as just pregnancy brain it just took me like five minutes to figure out how much weight I've gained and it was simple single digit subtraction like I, I couldn't even type in I was even using my phone calculator and I I literally couldn't do it I don't know like I, my brain was not working what else have been having a little bit of heartburn they say you know that means baby has a lot of hair which wouldn't shock me but a little bit of heartburn has a, like ugh, come to get me and that's a little bit unfortunate um but it's really not that bad as of yet although it is just 20 weeks so i mean i have lots of weeks to go for the heartburn to really kick in and the last thing our baby kicks i finally 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 felt her kick and it's like for sure 110 percent her that's kicking and it's like every day throughout the day i can feel her kicking and michael and jaylen have also felt her kick like outside so well, obviously, why would they feel or kick inside? I don't know. Anyways, so that's been really, really awesome. And it's so strange. I'll be the one to say it, that when you first feel your baby kick, it's weird as shit. Maybe that's me. Maybe maybe everyone else is like, oh, it's so blissful. I don't know. I think it's weird. Um, but I love it now, and it's, it's really awesome. So that has been probably the highlight of, like, symptoms, new things, things like that. As far as food aversions and uh, what's the other word? cravings um not really much of anything okay now we can talk about other stuff the most exciting thing that i want to talk to you guys about um that's really on the happier note um because i feel like i might get a little bit of negativity in this if anyone out there actually watches this through um but we have decided to cloth diaper which is super exciting i've wanted to cloth diaper since I was pregnant with Jalen and I just never did. I couldn't afford it with Jalen. With Rylan, I don't know why I didn't do it. I really don't have a good excuse. And with this baby, I'm just like, YOLO, we're doing it. Also, I'm getting a new diaper bag. This kind of isn't really update, but I'm getting a new diaper bag. We, as I, I have the old, or not the old one, but the new old one that I got, which is this one. It's um, a, can you guys see? I don't know. It's a skip hop form of backpack and I really like it but I recently just out of nowhere actually out of no not out of nowhere I was watching pregnancy like hospital bags because I'm obsessed with those I love watching those even when I'm not pregnant and um someone had a juju b bff I've never I've never had anything juju b I've never the only time I've really seen juju b things were with like the characters and I'm not really a character person so I was like oh I don't like juju b but I saw one that was like black and white polka dots I'm in love um if you follow me on instagram which if you don't you should i will post link down below basically i'm gonna be getting that exact diaper bag that i posted on there also i wanted to touch on um kind of a big thing as far as gender really really quickly um but this video always is already going to be really long so hopefully i can wrap this up soon with the last two subjects i guess um gender disappointment and um I feel like there's different scales and definitions of gender disappointment but I will say that Michael and I did experience gender disappointment and not in the sense of my life is over like I have this girl I don't want this girl but for Michael it was more so like his bloodline and his name both of them together are not going to go on so it's kind of like you know it's sad and disappointing we took both took a day to like group ourselves and we're good we're all completely over it um and then with me it really wasn't like I wanted a boy although I did want a boy I've always wanted a boy I've wanted a boy with all three now I'd say three of my girls um but my main reason is that I despise the color pink like I don't like it 
I, I don't like it. And um, obviously Jalen loves the colors pink and purple and there is nothing wrong with that. I am all for individuality and deciding what you want to be and who you want to be. So when it comes to Jalen and I go to the store for her, for example, I buy pink and purple things because that's who she is and I don't think twice about it. But for a new baby, I did not want to put my new baby in pink and purple. And I felt like for some reason that if I had a girl, I was obligated to put her in pink. And I just, it, I was annoyed by it, if anything. It was, that was the thing. And it's totally like a first world problem. It's not like any real reason. So I know people are going to jump down my throat and say, be thankful. And I totally am. Like, I am more than happy about my baby girl and I can't wait for her to get here. I feel like this is also the very first time on YouTube that I felt pressured into doing something or felt like, I was afraid to to talk about it or to want this for my family or whatever because of YouTube and that was the main reason that I didn't want to because I see people getting so upset when people on here that show their babies or their clothes or their hauls or whatever and they don't have pink stuff they're like go crazy in the comments and say things like you know hey it's a girl put some pink on her they don't need so much gray and gray is my jam like that's <laughs> gray is my jam so my kind of said whatever like do what you want to do so that's what we're doing we're really on a no pink kick now we're not like i'm not like absolutely no pink um we will definitely get some pink stuff accents of pink are amazing we're gonna go bow crazy i'm excited about bows and having different colored bows even pink bows but we're really staying away from pink and that leads into the nursery the nursery is going to be the same way we're doing like gray black and white with maybe like a touch of a color I'm not entirely sure but it's just something that I want to do and I'm gonna be very adamant about putting bows on her so that way it's not a lot of confusion and maybe that will <laughs> ease some of the negativity that I know some of you guys are gonna spew at. So let me show you guys my belly. So here is belly. Belly button is still like on swole mode. Um, here we are. You guys I shaved my belly. I mean it's still hairy on belly button area but I shaved it. I hope you guys can see and then let's try to get in on here. Here's a picture from the front. Or, and yeah. All right, so if you're just here for the updates and the talks and the things like that, that is gonna be it. I love you guys so much. Please make sure you like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. If you wanna see the baby's haul, we'll do that now. So, as I said before, <laughs> There's not going to be cute, frilly stuff in this haul. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. So, um, it's been really hard to find gender neutral clothes or just like girly clothes that aren't pink, if that makes sense. Um, I'm all for like a black tutu dress, right? Like that would be amazing. Um, the first thing I have is a blanket. This is actually from a company that I seen on YouTube, or not on YouTube, on Instagram. And one of my boutiques when I started getting into cloth diapering that's around here, Itsy Bitsy Bums. I will have them linked down below. Um, this isn't sponsored or anything, but I love their store. And although they are located in Kansas City, Missouri, I think, they do have an online store so you can order these things. So this is from Little Unicorn. It's basically just a muslin um, swaddle blanket, black and white. This is going to be a theme. Sorry if you like the frilly stuff. Um, and this was rather expensive. I mean... Technically, it's the same price as like an Aiden and an A like swaddle, but it's super cute. I mean, this thing is like huge. I'll take it out. It's really, really long. It's awesome. I got a couple of things from Target. The first thing are these black and white pants. Now, guys, don't fret. Her entire wardrobe is not going to be black and white. I just actually happened to find like clothes that were black and white and they were adorable maybe a lot of accent stuff and like ac accessories will be black and white but all of her clothes are not going to be black and white i promise um this is just a coincidence that i mentioned the black and white and there's a bunch of it i promise i promise i have a bunch of stuff coming in that are different colors um but these are from the jack and kate and jack collection or cat and jack collection these are zero to three they're a little bit big even for zero to three but those are those and then I got a set of onesies um I got these three pants which are adorable and they're like I said they're a little bit boyish but my feeling is that I add a bow and I hope that will girlify it up so I got those three and then I got the onesies to match 
Um, these are in newborn and so are those pants by the way. So there's like a black and white one. Just, whoops, that fell. Normal white one, a white and gray one, this like pattern one, and then there's this one that says, hi, I'm new here. So this at Bye Bye Baby when we went um, a while ago. Um, my phone is like going cray. Little arrows, super cute. Once again, with the bow, it'll be nice. And then um, also at that same time, Uncle Tony got this for us, which is super cute. I'm thinking that our theme is going to be fox slash woodland. Um, maybe like foxes and like squirrels or porcupines and owls. I think those are super cute. This is from Jessica Simpson. This is rather expensive, I will say. But Uncle Tony, that's how he rolls. He's like, just spoil him. That's what he does. So this is super adorable. This is zero to three. I love the footless ones. I mean, really, the footed ones are better, but this is just so cute. I love this. See, this pink I can I can get jiggy with. It's like a corally, pinky, peachy color. Love box. I, this might be my, my favorite outfit that she has so far. Super adorable. I hope you guys can see this stuff. And then there's one that is footed. Basically the exact same thing. It has little stars, but like I said, it's footed. Super cute. Um, there's this hat, which it's, it's like huge. And it's not like huge in the terms of like a six month old can wear it. It's like very wide. Like look at that. I don't know. Very, very strange. It's also a bib. I don't really put bibs on my newborns. And then there's these little booties, which I doubt we will wear, but they'll be nice to like put on the shelf. And the last thing that I got, which is what we used in our um, gender announcement, and people thought it was a boy and I used this because I thought it was very neutral. Apparently not. Everyone thought it was a boy favorite company thus far this is by loved baby they have an instagram account and they have like an online store and i know there is like sold in boutiques itsy bitsy bum actually sells this um company and i love these they're awesome when they are first born because just toss it up and change your little booties which is awesome this also has the little hand um mitten built in and that is basically all i'm gonna show you guys right now because this video is super long uh, hopefully someone watches it I don't know hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you're still here if you are still here like let me know like you watch till the end like I'm down with it like you are the true MVP I will see you guys in the next update and I'm about to get some Freddy's so